In the African continent today, there is a lot of growth in the ICT environment. I mean, uh, wireless infrastructure, LTE networks, fiber being deployed in the ocean, on land, satellite distribution networks. All these different layers of infrastructure uh, are being deployed in order to ensure that there is broadband in the African continent. And uh, this is now being done in a model which is called the open access model, whereby an infrastructure is built to allow as many mobile operators to use that infrastructure as possible. So the continent is going to have new players who play in the infrastructure space, who will be able to provide infrastructure to as many other operators as possible. This could be in the wireless environment, i.e. LTE, LTE advanced, or digital dividend one, or digital dividend two, or Wi-Fi type infrastructure. Now, we have identified this infrastructure as an area where we should invest. We will be establishing offices in West Africa. We will be establishing offices in East Africa, in places like Nairobi, and another office here in Johannesburg. It is a pan-African fund to invest in the African continent. We, are, we have closed, we have a target of $250 million, so we will still be on the road, you know, in the next round to raise the additional funding. Our pipeline is looking well, is looking good. We have a lot of opportunities that we see in West Africa, East Africa, and Southern Africa, in fiber, in satellites, in wireless infrastructure. We will be investing, you know, in existing companies. We will look at new companies, and we will look at, you know, joint ventures with others. And, and as I've said, the types of projects we will be looking at are those that are pan-African in nature, and some others that will be in the countries like Nigeria, Ghana, etc., or in Kenya and different other parts of the African continent.